Uh, hello, my friends uh, from Grotniki, that is a little, I'm not going to say village, but a little bit bigger than village, beautiful place, near second biggest city in Poland, near city Lodz, right in the center of the Poland. So today is October the 20th, 2018, and I have managed to gather yet another uh, audio proof about MK Ultra. Uh, I'm going to call this a witnessing um, help, really a much needed help, which so far we got um, from people. Um, there were there was zero mistakes so far. Um, I'm not going to say whoever I have confronted. I don't like this word confronted. I don't like to go around with this and record people and then put this on the internet, but choice I don't have. So, uh, like it or not, I had to do this one, and I'm going to do another one on Monday, uh, and actually then it's going to be more, more of this stuff, because if I'm not going to use it, I'm going to lose it, uh, and, uh, you know, there are these witnesses uh, that can help me out, give my account, confirm, uh, you know, my account about existence of I don't know if this is the biggest MK Ultra case ever, the longest MK Ultra case, according to according to Germans, this was like um, mother of all MK Ultras. Okay, if they admit it, then that's a pretty damn big one. Um, no less than 10 years uh, in the United States of America from 96, it started in 95, end of the 95, uh, all the way to the mid 2006, almost 11 years of intensive MK Ultra. And then quite a few attempts, serious attempts to get me confused about, uh, about the dates, as I already have explained. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give you, um, today I'm going to give you accounts. I want to thank everybody, whoever, whoever give me um, a confirmation when I, um, you know, to my account uh, when we met. Again, I don't like the word confront, confront uh, because without you I wouldn't be where I am. Uh, and that's why that's why I decided to go forward, to go on with it, to meet more people, to confront more people with this this way, and get more proofs about MK Ultra. So nobody can say that there was not at MK Ultra. I already got enough, but if I can get more, I will get more. If more can be done, we will do more. Um, one of the people I will confront. Uh, actually, that's an interesting one. Uh, it's going to be a psychologist who was involved in MK Ultra. That's a female I have fallen for under MK Ultra, uh, and then again I have fallen for her when there was a party here in Grotniki. They organized a party, and uh, there was quite a few people. And then this girl comes, and uh, I immediately knew this was this is one thing about MK Ultra. If you like a female, if if it's if it appeals to you, um, this is almost like one out of the million that you can put females in line. You can line them up, and the funny thing is that uh, it might be beautiful, but you're just gonna go exactly for the one that 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 is true that you. Uh, did you have expressed interest in under MK Ultra? That is so true. Uh, that I can tell you that's true. She came on this party here to see what's up with me. To see what's up with me because this was a quite a big deal. Uh, there were other females involved in this MK Ultra, and when I saw this female, this I remember from the first second of MK Ultra. I remember how it started here in Grotniki. This I remember like it was yesterday when I saw this lady, this female. Uh, the only thing that happened was I just took, I switched off all other females and I was into her. 
um, completely and crazy, miraculously, whatever you want to call this, she was into me. And then the politicians started to play with this. Uh, they realized, most of them, that uh, this is it. But they would not, the politicians that liked the idea about it, they wouldn't give us a green light either. So the Ruskis also got involved and they did their share of trouble, as I already have stated. Nevertheless, the other day she came over uh, on this party and it was like a magnet. I was right there. Uh, but then that, uh, you know, that I don't know about her, that I don't know who she is, uh, that she doesn't know nothing about MK Ultra and the stuff like that. And so my being silent about this stuff, it's not going to do anything, but if I make it through, then at least I can do something for the people. That's all there is to it. Uh, maybe even more, who knows? So, um... Nem, she's a psychologist and uh, a friend of quite a few people. I could give very detailed account, but I'm not going to go that far. I know about her tremendously a lot. Uh, I know about her previous residences. I know where she was. I know even about the cars. Boy, one time she leased car. And I got really concerned. I got, they brought me here from the U.S. She had payments. I asked her about the payments and it was like, who cares about the payments and so on. And then things changed and so on. I know quite a few things. That's why I'm just going to go ahead and I will challenge her, a psychologist. Who wouldn't want to have anything to do with me, by the way. Okay, once I confronted her very softly, okay, as soft as possibly one can be, it was a panic, uh, you know, similar thing happened over there in Vitebsk, when I met this Belarus girl, and I was even with her, but, uh, you know, I was afraid that she's gonna, I don't know, it's, it's a very difficult to come forward and say, hey, this is who you are, this is how we met, and so on. Uh, these girls would not give you a green light and say yes, even if you sleep with them, like I did with that girl. She would not say yes or anything like this. No way. Uh, and it's, it's not such an easy thing to do. Uh, government want to kind of use them to kind of play, you know, with with you like these are like deepest emotions you know the person you under mk ultra now you're with her and you know this is like uh you know either real, you're really seeing things that do not exist or you this actually is a reality so this should be interesting week uh i am so self-assured secure that i will just go and push forward with it and i know i i will make it um, you know, unless the Polish government really has a vendetta against me, but I don't think, I think we're going to make it through this. So it should be an interesting week. Right now, audio recording about the gentleman right here, located right here in front of the center. Uh, this gentleman is a physician. Uh, this is a very nice man. He tried to find somehow his way out. Uh, he tried to find some way, somehow, his way out. Uh, when I asked him about German Shepherds, it was maybe, maybe, but it was. He confirms. And uh, all through, not a psychologist, I was told on MK Ultra that if I do suggest a confront, again, I don't like the word confront. I don't like the way confront, but when you think about the stuff that I have just mentioned to you, then it is in a way, it is confront. At least this is what's going to happen with this girl, the psychologist here from uh, from Grotniki, uh, from, sorry, from Zgirsh. That's what I'm going to do. Um, if I would do this, if I would 
come close enough and ask if he's a psychologist, if I could dare to do that, it would be recognized as 50-50, even that we know this is more than 50-50, okay, come on. I didn't say if he is gardener, or I didn't say if he's a taxi driver, a cab driver, or if he is a gentleman dresses like totally casual, okay? Uh, if you wouldn't know what you are talking about, you would, um, if you wouldn't be sure 100%, uh, like I was, uh, just seeing gentlemen dressed like this, uh, believe me, nobody out there would go in uh, and just, uh, you know, dare to ask question like this, okay? So, this is not guessing, this is just a memory, and it's a pretty damn good memory. The gentleman is very hard to get. Many times I observed him, I was trying somehow to get close to him. Today there was a chance, today I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a son actually. I think it was his son with his wife. Uh, they came and they helped him out. I think it was his son. Um, I also remember that his habit is to go out early in the mornings to the store, something like this, I remember. This is all the time inside. Uh, well-trained dog, German Shepherd, tells dog is one year old. I'm really confused at this point. Um, he always had German Shepherds. So because of the memory, because I remember that he always had German Shepherds, I continue and I continue to press and I want yes, that he always had German Shepherds and he gives me yes. Um, you wouldn't want to do this to a physician uh, and you would not confront a physician that is very casually dressed he was today uh, if you wouldn't be a certain uh, you know and I targeted in the field of psychology if you wouldn't be certain that he is what uh, your memory suggests I'm just gonna put it this way okay so thank you to him thank you also to other people uh, thank you very much. Should be interesting week. Now let's just go and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play this thing here. Um, I know where to stop. Minute 7, I think it is. Um, it's with a politic and I don't want to uh, involve people in a politic. Doggy. This dog is... Uh, a little bit about this dog again this dog is extremely well trained this dog he would only give you a like a little surprise attack if he sees you uh, daydreaming if he sees you you're thinking you're being in your own world and that he's got a chance with a surprise attack to caught your attention just to get a reaction from you uh, he's gonna go for it Otherwise, if he sees that you see him, he is not even interested really in, in giving you any heart attacks or anything like this. But if not, then he gets a joy. Now, if the gate is open, dog will not go out. And that's so damn well I remember. These dogs are so well trained. Um, he would just stand there and he would be like this, hoping, basically saying to himself, Come on, you, you're not going to go inside, right? I mean, in that sense, it's not aggressive, really. Uh, just well trained, uh, well taken care of, just like grass. Again, uh, it looks like this almost. The grass almost looks like this pool table. Uh, house, really interesting uh, architecture, almost looks like new, but it's not. It has quite a few years. House has at least eight years, at least. Um, but it looks like new. Dog, happy dog. 
because animals love clean too, not only people love, but animals like clean too. Uh, it's been well taken care of, uh, good food, good muster, nice. And so let's start this audio recording. Uh, about the girl that I suggested I have met uh, I have met a whole bunch of people her friends um, I have met a whole bunch of people here in in I known as a terrorist uh, just as a joke I think they see me as a friend, but, uh, you know, I don't like walking around with this thing, doing this stuff, but I don't have a choice. Uh, I remember a whole bunch of things with which I'm going to go ahead and challenge. So then we're going to see how much confidence I really am about the stuff I'm doing. Uh, some people suggested what on the MK Ultra that... I would do educated guessing and stuff like this. You cannot give accounts of the stories like I gave, like to the last millimeter. Like I can give like a whole bunch of things, accounts that I did not even give about. Some really embarrassing and some that would place people in trouble that it shouldn't, and so on. This is this is not really guessing. This is like a memory solid like uh, like when you do the audio taping almost okay so let's go with this one here Uh, by the way, by the way, in Dembach near Warsaw, where I was, uh, there were several psychologists that escaped me. After I have mentioned that I recognized them, they disappeared. Took two psychologists, two female psychologists. If necessary, we're going to go with the police over there, and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to identify these two ladies because they did participate in MK Ultra. They were both of them were psychologists. And I know for some more, some even from this place. And it should get really interesting. It should be interesting week. Let's go. open she would go out she just barks here inside 
in, in the area, in the parliament, but not outside. But did we always have uh, German shepherds, no? We always had German shepherds. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was going to ask you something. Uh, are you a psychologist? What? Are you a psychologist by profession? I don't know. Do you speak with a psychologist? No, no. I am a psychologist. <laughs> no, but do you speak with a psychologist? No. You wouldn't say I'm a doctor. No, no, no. No, if you don't insist, too bad. But I am persistent, you know. And uh, before, before your German shepherds, they were also the same way trained. They uh, they bark inside, but they wouldn't go out. They wouldn't. Uh, if you would leave the gate open, she wouldn't. She wouldn't touch anything. She wouldn't. She wouldn't touch person. Very well said. You're very, very smart. You're very, very intelligent, man. We, we, uh, I'm talking about the Ruski, the Nemetski. Ruski, Ruski. We watch him go. I was a young man. Yeah. Zelazna Kurtin. Um. He speaks Russian because when it was when he was a young man, there was an iron curtain. It, the Soviets were here, and uh, as I as I explain him in continuation, it was same thing over there in in in, in Yugoslavia, in Slovenia, where I was. We all know the song. Uh, you learned a Russian language, uh, good here in Poland. Uh, Russian language, all other languages basically, uh, if you studied English or German, German don't know, yeah, German, French, French, English, you are considered as a spy by, this, by the Soviets. This is the way it is. Okay, folks, there you have it. Uh, that's your confirmation right there. That's yet another proof. I consider this as a, yet as an another proof of MK Ultra. And so far, I have not made a single mistake um, about all this stuff. Also interesting, I'm going to already stress this fact that um, 
girl, uh, I am talking about a psychologist knew, uh, of course, how would not she knew it? Uh, I mean, Mr. Rao, um, a candidate for international criminal uh, prevention, whatever, PhD uh, candidates in a large university uh, whom I have met and also gave me a green light that he was uh, a staff member of MK Ultra. Uh, she also knows him. So uh, that's how we're going to start with this. And then let's see how the story is going to develop. Um, it should be interesting week. Uh, let's give it a try and uh, see what's going to happen. Let's try a little bit with psychologists and see what's going to happen. Uh, there's a whole bunch of psychologists that I want to confront now and see how that's going to go along. Uh, the girl is also a good friend of... Uh, Mrs. Andrea Jeric, that was a nurse um, from Slovenia. Um, not a bad nurse, not a bad female, not a bad, um, you know, it's, it's really not the females that are guilty. Uh, it's just that... Uh, you know, I, I probably caused my share of troubles, and uh, you know, there's one thing I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go and blame the females. So, um, I know a lot, a lot of details about her. Uh, I know her secret spots, her locations where she likes to go to the forests for a walk. I know her hobbies. I know a whole bunch of things. We did meet over there. Uh, and this party here in Grotniki, we really did. Uh, but the conversation was extremely, extremely, extremely short. Um, and honest to God, I was not interested in the same kind of a game, the same kind of thing I have gone through in Belarus when I actually was with a girl who was involved in MK Ultra tremendously a lot from Belarus, from the Vitebsk. Uh, and again, I did not even confront her. Uh, she, you know, gave, gave me such signals that anything I would suggest or try to obtain some kind of some very smart. Now, this was, this is an account that's, accountant, PhD accountant. These girls are very smart. They're very intelligent girls. Uh, you're not just dealing. So when you're trying to twist a little bit around, they know their game. They know how. Uh, so it's not so easy to get a green light. But she would give me a green light in other ways and so on. But, you know, and so on and so forth. So let's go. And that's what's going to happen this week. So... Uh, it's not if I am ready or not. If you're ready or not, this is what's going to happen this week. It should be interesting. Uh, we're going to make these things interesting now. Anyway, uh, October the 20th, 2018, it is hello, bye-bye from Grotniki, uh, near City Lodge, near City Zgirsh, near second biggest city in Poland, City Lodge. Lodge. Watch. In Polish they say watch. And watch actually is a boat. And everybody, when they find out what watch means, everybody is wondering where is the boat, where is the sea actually. Where is the sea here? There is no sea. There is no, there is no river. There is no sea. So nobody still, I think still nobody knows why is it watch. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.